also only running until January 15th. And this is like, this is unfortunate that it's closing so soon. The Pulitzer Prize winning, Tony Award winning, best musical, The Strange Loop, the Broadway show. Uh, Yeah, I I don't know why. Uh, Unfortunately, this one isn't making the money it needs to stay open. I believe I read somewhere that it's going to be the shortest run for a best musical winner, uh, maybe ever, or at least in quite some time. Uh, But we got to see it at least before it closed. So, Art, what did you make of A Strange Loop? I really, really liked this one. Mm -hmm. As Zach said, this is the one that won the Tony. It It had nominations really all around. And this is one where... It is very meta in the sense that it is a guy who's writing a play. He works as an usher for the Lion King Broadway play, but he's in the process of trying to turn his own. And he finds himself in this strange loop of realizing that what he wants to talk about needs to be almost like he has to bend the knee in order to appease the people who are going mm-hmm. to watch it, which, again, is still a very meta play that to this day in the way that it's it's, it's uh, runtime is being cut short is because it's not pleasing who I guess in his first song, he's kind of venting about, you have to do these certain things for the people who are going to be there for the matinees. What is the Broadway audience? Are you giving them the thing that that's going to deliver for them? Um, it has to be your perspective, but from their point of view. And he does a lot of these things that I think is the reason why, the, if I'm being honest, the Broadway isn't selling. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's the first time that it didn't feel like a play who's like saying it and then doesn't really do it. Leave right. uh, this is one where he's saying it and he knows it's going to piss off people, but he's yeah. just saying the truth. And he's not just pissing off what would be, I guess, the white Broadway audience. He's also mm-hmm. like counterintu- counterintuitively making things that aren't for black audiences either because mm-hmm. they're not going to these Broadway plays. And then in the way that he wants to be very artsy, he's also denying a lot of what is uh, – said plays in black culture and yeah, it's that internal struggle things. that he's dealing with that i thought I, I don't know i thought it was a very profound play a very internal play and yeah. we were re-listening to it on our drive back it's nice. just some very special very intimate songs yeah very intimate mm-hmm. no it's it's very personal um and I, I feel like that's one of the things that really struck me about it is how much it really feels like the creation of of its writer and um you know just those meta elements are really fun uh, you mentioned that he's an usher at lion king he's also named usher in in the play um it's he's writing a strange loop as we're seeing a strange loop and sort of commenting on like well ideas. the audience is going to feel yeah. like this or or don't do this your audience is going to isn't going to like nope. that and i i don't know i don't think i've ever seen uh, a broadway musical kind of do that sort of meta thing but not do it just sort of like just for the joke of it there's like an emotional heft to it too because it's so mm-hmm. uh built into this character's aspirations of of writing a pl- uh, writing this broadway musical and sort of finding some sense of place because he doesn't get that from his family yeah. um and you know the balance between that and all the sort of like making fun of the tyler perry-esque st- stuff I, I don't know it's very charming it's very fun um like you said it, it's it sticks out amongst Broadway, and maybe that's part of why it's I'm not doing as well. Won. Yeah, look, look, look I liked Same. it. I'm yeah. surprised it won. I'm like, really? This made it all the way that up to you? Like, do you feel say, guilty that he was calling you out? And you just—it's a little like a—it's like it? a, a little like Triangle of Sadness winning, winning, winning the Palme d'Or. It's like this movie's making fun Similar. of you. That and it like if we award it, then haha, we're laughing with it. It's not laughing at us. That's yeah. kind of how I feel from it. Uh, I would I would put it up there with not another Broadway show, and I've seen plenty that do this style of being very meta. That's why I can say that this one really surprised me. Having seen that same bit over and over again, I really like the approach to it. Um, what if you could put it back up? You could actually see it there. The, the the premise, the approach to it is that those boxes that you see, it's inside out. You're right, like way adult. Those are his thoughts. They're his thoughts that are coming in and intruding once he thinks he's having a good day or or when he's feeling bad, they come in to like really double down on how he yes, feels. Yes. And I think that's a fascinating approach to the play. Um, but I am surprised at one. The, the closest thing I could connect it to is the Netflix movie that played at Sundance a, a couple years back, uh, 40-year-old version. Another mm. movie that's critiquing how much success you can have within the loop of Broadway without making the type of thing that they want you to make. Or that you think you're saying something new, but in reality, you're saying the something new that they needed you to say during this period when they were getting some backlash. And uh, I think it's a very profound play that ironically did get swept in 
to what it's critiquing, and now they're spitting it back out because it isn't. It is disrespectful for it to have run this short. Because I remember you sent me the article and I read it. And I was like, the numbers were staggering. It was like this isn't even like the bottom. This is like a world record in how quickly it's gone. Yeah. So let's award it and and wrap it up. Yeah. That makes no of, sense to me. And part of that is also Broadway struggles since COVID to sort of rebound. But like, it, it's not. It's not like it's the only. Or it's it's not like every show is closing on Broadway right now, right? Nope. And and the speed with which it's closing after winning not just the Tony but the Pulitzer, which I, I don't know. That's I don't know. It's striking. Either. It's striking. Uh, Zach did tell me though. I need to get a New York City Library card because I can go in there and watch all of them. So if you're in New York, do that because supposedly they have every recording that you could possibly want there, and hopefully they they get this one up there too. But uh, you know, if you're not in New York. Listen to the uh, the the what's it called the the professional recording to it because I, I think it's really solid. Yeah, nice. So yeah, a strange loop and Top Dog Underdog, some Broadway Great shows. Great plays, bro. Just those yeah. alone are worth the trip. Absolutely.